This is part Krabby Crafting and part inspired by. Hey, it's Care. Welcome to my Take Out the Leak. So I've been doing adulting things all day today. Things that I need to do and that overall I'll be happy when they're done. But doing them, I'd rather not. This is a project I have wanted to do for months and months. And today is going to be the day because I'm tired of adulting. I can do more tomorrow. I am going to prep this to be an art journal. Again, part of this is crabby crafting. I'm going to stop talking here in a little bit and put some music on for you and for me. And I'm just going to put paint on pages and mark make maybe. And it's all inspired by Alyssa Burke. I've watched several of her videos several different times now, and every time I'm done watching, I think, oh, I really want to do that. Oh, but first I need to clean the studio. Oh, but first I need to do the yard work. Oh, but first I need to be an adult. Oh, but first, and it's been probably a year and I still haven't done it. Today's the day. So again, completely inspired by Alyssa Burke. I will link that video, the most inspiring. I watched several of hers and they're all great. I, I love her process and her thoughts about the whole thing. And I love watching her put these things together. And I just, I want to throw some paint around. And so I'm going to throw paint around. I have my palette here. These are just colors I picked. I can see the orange and teal. I will probably want to put together and my favorites the neon colors and these two i go to these all the time oh and of course black who knows how it's going to come out we shall see i have different brushes this is just a cheap and i mean cheap i think it was four for a dollar or something at back to school at walmart years ago it is sewn so it is a, you know, a decent book. As I always do, I'm going to put glue here on that sewn string end and glue here on that end just to secure those stitches because who knows how sloppy this is going to get. I'm also going to use a card to scrape paint and maybe some brayers. I don't know. I want all my toys out, so I don't have to think about it. So while I'm doing my prep, I'm going to just take my art glitter glue. I always put a, just a little bead of glue all the way down that string, especially there on the ends. And just kind of work it in. Look at those yummy colors. Yum, yum, yummy. It's probably not nearly enough, but it's a good start. I should probably smock up, but I'm not gonna. I need to move everything over just a little bit. So since it's a cheap notebook, the pages are, are cheaper than normal too. But this is acrylic paint and acrylic essentially dries to plastic. And so if you get a decent coat down or two or three, that essentially is strengthening that paper, thickening that paper up. So we'll see. Just Oh, I, look at me. I didn't even... Getting one of my books of unwasted paint out. I didn't wet this brush. I just went into the paint, and I don't want to do that. I want water up in those bristles before lots of paint gets up in those bristles. And so I'm trying to get rid of that paint that's already in there. So then I can really wet the brush and start right instead of just jumping in and doing stupid stuff. Hit the brush really wet first. Okay, so I've gotten all my brushes, brushes wet because I'll probably forget again. Now the whole idea here is just to get paint and color on the page in a fashion that pleases you. Makes you feel better. Makes you feel like you have a tiny bit of control over some stuff.
Alyssa suggests that if you use matte finish paint, pages won't stick together. I'm just using what I have, but I notice while I'm waiting for this to dry, all of my neons are matte finish. So that's kind of cool. So half of the palette that I'm using today is in fact matte finished, which helps a lot. If I'm honest, this, these notebooks of unwasted paint are sometimes my favorite part of the project. I just think they're so fun and the way they sound once the paper gets wet and it just gets that beautiful crinkly sound and the the stuff that happens when you're really not trying to make anything happen except clean a brush. I try to do different brush strokes and I try to coordinate my colors but for the most part it's thoughtless so to speak. I have a whole bunch of these produce bags that I use on my gel plate, but I'm going to stick that in between here and it'll either make a pattern, hopefully it won't stick to anything. We'll have to see, but I, I don't want to wait for that to dry. I don't have all night. I'm just going to skip around. Part of the reason of using different tools is to have less control so it's not all perfect. I'm not trying to make a flower or a landscape or a anything. All I'm trying to do is get paint down. When you get a brush in your hand or a pencil, you just kind of want to sort of make it something. And that's not my purpose today. My purpose is to throw paint around and move paint around. So scrapey paint is a, a great way to do that. You just load some paint up on the card and get to scraping. Now, I notice these neons are very watery. They're not that old, but they scrape out so light. I should have remembered that and I didn't until just now, but oh well. Sometimes I don't mind texture in the form of dried clumps of paint, and sometimes it drives me bananas, so I pick them out when it drives me bananas. These are some of my favorite colors, especially when things like that happen right here. So cool. I guess it's just the blue that's that watery. So if you're new to this, and you're thinking, oh my God, what are you gonna do with a mess like that? What do you do with it? After, you know, once you've got it all glommed up, what do you do? Well, you can do all kinds of things. You can do some serious doodling, like what Elisa, oh, excuse me, Alyssa, Burke does on top of hers is some very intricate mandala drawing and doodling and flowers and she just layers it and layers it and layers it with all different kinds of things. Here's one that I've done. It's not quite done yet. I'd like to add some words and some numbers, some more grunge, but this was a just a clean off page with watercolors and then later I came back with a pen and then later I came back with a white pen layering and layering and layering and then what do you do with it well this would make a really pretty page in an altered book you can tear it up and make strips out of it for collage you could cut it up and make the pages of a mini journal you could make atcs out of something like this this would be the front and then you'd add a, a layer of heavy cardstock on the back or a playing card or something but you can do anything with it anything that you use paper for you can use this for but you get the benefit of this kind of play in the process. And you'll see the pages are curling up just a little bit. 
because there's moisture in it and that's what happens when water gets or when paper gets wet however once it dries especially with the aid of the heat it flattens right out so that's good get another one of these let's see how it's working before i do it twice oh yeah seems to be just fine not sticking I'm skipping around like you would do in a glue book to just just for good measure just put a little bit of moisture on my brayer see if it matters if it makes any difference I don't know just playing just experimenting no. I'm gonna say no really the wetting the brayer didn't really do anything great washi on here because every time I moved it they would fall out and now they don't fall out but I still have instant access to them palette knife yet. I love my palette knife. It works just like the credit card. You scoop up some and you uh, scrape it. Same principle. But this one has a handle. Which makes things kind of cool. like Walt Disney threw up. Oh well. It's a small world after all. We'll make it work. <laughs> Somehow, some way, it'll be fine. It'll be fine! I 
even though I'm using these right now for page separators, I'll have no problem reusing them for my gel plate prints. They'll be just fine. They might have a little texture, but that's what gel plate printing is all about. Texture and grunge and let's move to the back a little bit. Oh dear, looky here. Got a little carried away. Oh well, I'll just put some down here and it'll look like we meant it. Now it's balanced and it's... I think I'll do one more and then I'll get back to my adulting for another project. I'll use up what I have here on my palette. Actually, I'll need more because there's not much left here. Not really what I intended to do on this page, but. Using a round brush, but it's a crappy craft round brush. Not ever do I put my watercolor brushes near acrylic. Ruins them faster than you can say dried paint. 10 cents versus $23. So even though they look the same, keep them separated. I think that's going to be it for this event. I've painted myself out. I've got a few pages going. I finally have started this. I think this is just going to be a mark making project, meaning I'm not planning to tear out the pages and use them. I'm just planning to doodle them up and keep adding layers and keep adding grunge and add numbers and words and, and it'll just be a like a graffiti journal maybe I don't know exactly but I feel like I've got it out of my system and can move on with my life I think it's important especially if you're new to crafting or new to any of this that you see that it doesn't always work out perfectly every time and there's always angels singing in the background sometimes it's messy and sometimes it doesn't go as planned and sometimes stuff gets jacked up but you keep on going you just keep at it and <laughs> isn't it just always the way of course my camera would die why wouldn't it why would i remember to plug it in while it's recording on a crappy day anyway it's the next day and i just wanted to show you what we ended up with you get some really beautiful page edging whether you try to or not it just happens because you're painting sloppy and of course, some of those pages are going to stick together. If you're gentle, and just take it slow. They'll come apart pretty easily. If they tear, just glue it to the next page. Just put, just put a little bit of glue and glue it together. If you want to take it out 
take it out but leave some of the original page here because these are sewn in if you take this page out whatever it's connected to in the back will come out too if you take it right down to the string you don't want to take it down to the string i would just glue it together i wanted to show you this last one kind of stuck together a little bit where the saran wrap stuff wasn't pulled a piece of paint left a piece of paper pulled a piece of paper minus a piece of paper that's fine it's fine you're gonna put more and more and more layers on it anyway so this is just added grungy texture sometimes you glue scrap pieces of paper on it anyway to make layers and layers and layers of goodiness so don't sweat it it's play it's all play but those things happen when you're painting this wet on cheap paper it's bound to happen no matter how much you try to prevent that stuff things still happen now, this is fairly dry but the these two paints that i used are not matte medium they're gloss shiny which you can see and these are going to stick together so what i'll probably do in this page is just put a piece of deli paper in or wax paper or cut down a piece of that saran wrap just to keep them from from sticking because no matter what just because of the kind of paint it is they're going to end up sticking together until i get layers and layers on once you layer it with ink and mod podge and collage and paint pens and whatnot then they won't stick together so i'll show you what we ended up with i'll go here from front to back i quite like this one of course i like this silver spatter and i just went around a little bit framing it just a tiny bit You know, some things I have no idea how they happen, like these little dots. I am clueless what made that. And it's that's the only place that it happened. And you have these magical little pockets. I just love these colors, how they work together. Now what next? I can either come in and make more and make more and make more. Cause there, there's usually about 100 pages in here don't know what these cheaper ones are that's a lot of painting to be done now this one like i said I, I like the colors and i like the the grunge of it but it's a little bit too much so i think what i would probably do is come in here with a, a that small brayer and bray on some either white gesso or white paint and just knock some of it back a little bit but i quite like it i like all of them they were great fun to make of course this one same here it's a little you know wow white pen on here would be awesome stenciling white paint or white ink stenciling would be awesome white doodling more of the silver watercolor or silver metallic pens would go good on these cool colors and then the last one with this one i might keep up with all the circle motifs and make white circles in different spots maybe maybe try out some mandela type things i don't know the point is i don't have to start from scratch on a blank piece of paper i can use what's here as a jumping off point as i said using what's here i already have this circular thing going that would be kind of fun to keep up use the colors as a jumping off point use the there was one that i, I think it was this one the strokes kind of remind me of japanese lettering or chinese lettering oriental lettering so I might come in and do some of that with my acrylic markers. I might not. I don't know. It's pretty old, but it's a good one. I'll link my video below, and that video has links to others about journaling by fives. All I did here was throw in backgrounds, throw in backgrounds, throw in backgrounds. Now the next step might be mark making. The next step might be adding text or numbers or a focal point if I ever want to get that far. I'd I think I just like the patterns and the colors. I don't think I'll be adding focal points as in focal points on a page or in a collage. But I'll, I'll link journaling by fives down below because it's pretty much the same thing. You just do, it's an easy way in, in that you know, some of these things you can't ever replicate. That's just so cool. Journaling by fives just helps you ease into something. You set a timer 
and you just start and you have just a few minutes to mark up the page put in a background then do the mark making then add text then add a focal point it's a super easy in to working in collage or art journaling junk journaling any of it it just helps you get over that fear of the blank page by setting parameters and deciding what to do and setting the timer and getting to it it's great fun i highly recommend it so this was fun i enjoyed having your company thank you so much for going along with me i will be doing more in this and i Go love up your beastlies. My ticket at the lake. Oh, for now.